Corelinks and Tasis Sacroiliac Joint Fusion System consist of three compression screws with diameters of 7, 9.5, and 11.5 millimeters. The lengths of the screws range from 30 to 70 millimeters in 5 millimeter increments. The lateral SI fusion surgery is performed using fluoroscopy in the lateral, inlet, and outlet positions. After markings are made on the skin in the lateral view, a 2 to 3 inch incision is made and a guide wire is placed in the most superior part of the SI joint, inferior to the L5 S1 end plate. Small, medium, and large dilators are used to sequentially dilate the incision site. The dilator handle is placed onto the third dilator just below the proximal ridges and two finger tightened from the bottom of the handle. A plastic tissue shield can replace dilator one to test for nerve impedance. Then the first two dilators can be removed. The implant length measurement tool can be placed into the proximal end of the dilator with the guide wire positioned in the middle of the block. Be sure to use the appropriate side for dilator 2 or 3. The proximal end of the wire will denote what length implant to use. Next, choose the drill for the appropriate diameter screw and, using a T-handle or power adapter, drill to the distal end of the first guide wire. Remove the drill and harvest the bone graft from the drill flutes. This graft will be packed into the implant before insertion. Next, the site can be tapped with the respective implant diameter tap. Then, using the decorticator, rotate the rasp 360 degrees around the guide wire inside of the joint for additional joint disruption. Load the implant using the stab and grab inserter, then place an extra guide wire into the implant to aid in packing the harvested graft into the fenestrations. Remove the extra guide wire in preparation for implant insertion. Slide the implant down the placed guide wire through the dilator and begin inserting the implant until the laser mark on the inserter shaft meets the proximal end of the dilator. Place the variable pin guide over the guide wire and set the desired length. Use imaging to position the second guide wire based on the first. Feed the bone funnel over the first guide wire, remove the guide wire, and finish packing the implant using the supplied tamp. Repeat these same steps for implants 2 and 3. Note that if using a 7mm screw without a washer, the second dilator must be used for those implantation steps. Thank you for learning more about the Intasis SI Joint Fusion System with easy end threading, joint compression, and stackable guide wires. To learn more, go to corelinksurgical.com.